Hello students. So let's begin it with our next program. That is our uh, seventh program. Okay. Before that, let me share my screen to you all. Okay. Okay. So let us read what is our next program that is seven. That is design a web page using XHTML and PHP to insert employee ID, employee name, and experience information entered by the user into a table created using MySQL and to display the current contents of this table also retrieve the details of the employee based on the employee ID as specified by the user. Okay, so here what we are going to use, you are going, uh, we are going to use our XHTML and PHP to insert employee ID and name and also the employee's experience information, okay, into our MySQL database, okay? And also display the current contents of this table, okay? Also retrieve the details of the employee based on the employee ID, okay? So what it is going to do, it is going to retrieve all the um, uh, details of that particular employee based on his employee ID. So here again, we are going to include doc type HTML, head HTML and title as insertion of employee information to the database, okay? So here, uh, these are nothing but the style specifications given like red color for border and font size will be 10, 20, okay, and enter the following information to be inserted into the database, okay. So, meanwhile, I'll just go on showing everyone. Uh, the output to. Okay. So see here, enter the following information to be inserted into the database, okay? So it is given as what? Color red, font size is 20. Form action is HTTP colon localhost 2123 test lab 7 dot PHP, okay? So this is, since we are connecting it to the database, so we should give the port number of this 2123, okay? So before beginning with the code, so let me just give you all a brief introduction to our XAMPP server, which we are going to use here, okay, for the installation, okay. Okay, so what we will have to do first and foremost before beginning, we have to install this XAMPP server, which is a most popular PHP development environment, okay. We are going to install it and the once we install it, it is going to create us with a XAMPP folder into our C drive, okay? Then we are going to go on saying next as shown here, okay? Next and install all particular XAMPP required documents that are needed to execute this program. Then it is going to take us to the folder where we want to install. So we have to particularly select that particular folder and then we should store it there. Okay, so once that is done, the entire XAMPP server, so, so this uh, server, if you are going to use, and so, suppose that entire XAMPP you have installed successfully, then what you have to do into our control panel, you should go and you should just type as XAMPP control panel, as you can see in this green color highlighted portion. So once you click on that, this particular window gets opened, okay, where Apache and MySQL are there. So before beginning to any uh, of our uh, execution part, first make sure that XAMPP is installed into your uh, device or your system. And then this, make sure you should go into your control panel and say XAMPP control panel when you type. So if the XAMPP is properly executed, then that particular command prompt is going to be opened, okay, as such this. Then make sure you are going to click on this start button for Apache and MySQL. Until then, your XAMPP is not going to begin, okay. So once you click on to that, okay, there will be particular port numbers given, uh, specified, that is on which port it is going to be running okay for that you should go in admin and check out some kind of code is going to be displayed wherein some particular uh, port numbers will be given so that particular port number itself uh, you have to put into, into into your what in our data okay uh, that is in our 
program at as i mentioned here see here http colon localhost and when i was executing the port number was 2123 so make sure sometimes the port numbers will be changing okay so in such cases you should go and do here config okay in config when you go then you some certain data is going to be removed in the into the notepad so make sure that particular uh, port number itself uh, you are added into this program okay then only your database is going to be connected to this php okay then uh, in xamp folder wherever it is installed you should create a test folder and in that test folder you should show, uh, save this program okay then only it is going to execute so make sure the path which you are mentioned here into your uh, this uh, lab program should be proper okay okay if you have given if you have uh, stored your uh, program into some d or uh, other folder and if your exam is somewhere else then it is not going to have a proper connectivity okay so i have stored my program lab 7 into xam folder inside that i have created a test folder and inside that i have created a lab 7.php program app store and method it is using as post because here we are giving the input we are posting the input so post method is there so input type it is using our text for the name input type text again for the employee id also because since few employee id will be in terms of uh, uh, this uh, what uh, characters or in sometimes it will be in terms of numbers so we have given it as text itself okay then input type uh, type will be text again for the experience also okay if uh, if uh, the person is going to enter the experience in terms of uh, characters like two or in numerical values anything so we have given in here it as text itself then submit button okay if we are going to submit the details and reset if you want to include a new customer information okay so here to make sure that here we are going to create one is html program that is dot html we are going to save which we just saw up okay then the second one will be insert dot php okay so here we are going to in include another program here too okay totally we are going to have three programs i'll just tell mention about the other one also just after explaining this so insert dot php here also head html body tag is going to be there and here dollar of name for that, you are going to include the PHP program as dollar underscore post of name, where you are going to post the name. Similarly, for the employee ID and employees experience also. Then dollar of con equals to my SQLI underscore connect. This is very important. Okay, if you want to connect your HTML PHP program to the database MySQL, then there has to be uh, certain connectivity code that is going to be used to link both of this front end and back end so for that we are going to use this mysql connect okay that is localhost and root okay and if the connection is not getting connected nor if dollar is not con that is connecting then die that is error in connecting to the database else if it connects then it is going to display in particular window that is green window saying that connection is successful okay see here you all can see as it is hmm. then mysql db connected then it is going to connect to the user information and it is going to take all the values whatever you are going to put it in from the front end into the mysql that is name exp employee id and is experience okay and it is going to what display that the result of select star from user detail that is a how many ever details are there or how many ever employee informations are there it is going to display okay once you are going to insert it okay then number of rows inserted uh, okay so similarly here again what uh, one more thing we are going to do here it is also going to fetch that mysql fetch array from mysql underscore association okay that is whichever values you have put into that particular employee uh, row or uh, employee uh, name row or uh, employee id row or employee experience row it needs to fetch it also because as per our 
question what it is saying it has to retrieve also the employee details based on his employee id okay so for that fetch array it is going to use okay 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 so here in header 4 what it is going to use okay that is enter username to be searched okay so here form action again we are going to use that is localhost 2123 port and test and search.php again the method is going to be post because you are going to give your employee id based on that it is going to display you back the result so again here submit and reset button will be there once you put up your employee id but Okay, and now what we saw, we saw our HTML program, we saw our PHP program, but to search also one more program is needed. So make sure for this lab seven program, you are going to write three lab programs. One is HTML program, one is PHP program for the database connection and the third one is another PHP for searching of that particular employee ID. Okay, here also employee post method we are using for employee ID because based on employee ID, it is going to return us back all the particular data of that particular employee. And here also, if the connection is not getting connected, again, it is going to say that die in the sense there is some error in connecting to the database, else it is going to print as connection is successful and whichever employee ID you are going to put, okay, its result it is going to display you. If dollar of rows is zero, echo, there are no rows with the name as any particular dollar name, that is whichever name you are going to give. Else, whichever uh, particular data is already existing, it is going to fetch that particular data and it is going to display to the user, okay? So let me show you the execution of this. So here we can see here, employee, enter name, employee ID, enter experience, and two input types we have taken everywhere, that is submit and reset. So once this is our front page of our lab program okay so similarly after inputting the values that is employee name raj employee uh, id is 456 and enter experience is four years so once if i submit these details it is going to okay display in terms of what a table all these value how many people's data we have given so see here just now we gave no raj and 34 and 2 okay employee id is 34 and his experience is Two, okay so once we give all the details so here you can see you now in green color connection as successful okay if it is connecting it is going to display with this particular what screen okay so once the employee ids are posted then we are going to get it uh, the output in terms of this way then again what if we want to search particular id suppose now 32 you can see here there is no uh, employee ID existing as 35, 34 is there, but 35 is not there. So when I enter 35, so what it is saying, there are no rows with the name as 35, okay? Uh, so it is going to display that there is no existing data for that particular information. Now, suppose if we am going to give the user name as 96 and 1, okay? So here you can see that, see here, for 96 and 1, there is one particular name existing as Raj. Okay. So here it will give the employee name as Raj, employee ID 96 and experience is 4. Okay. So based on the employee ID 96, it is going to display this particular person is existing with so and so experience. Okay. So and always make sure once you are done, again you have to turn off the Apache. What? and MySQL once you are done and then you can end up the execution. So similarly, you can go on uh, storing all the data of an employee database. It can be in terms of any working environment. Okay, I hope you got the concept. Thank you.